What up guys, today we're gonna to show you how to do the upright row, but even better yet, we're gonna show you how to do it properly and how to avoid injury while doing it. All right guys, so this exercise is so controversial, it's not even funny. If you guys don't know, uh, I'm sure there'll be comments all over the, like comment section down below of people debating this. So this exercise is a mass builder. I love it, I don't wanna give it up. However, this position is how you Kimura someone in MMA. You push this to kinda of like snap and put the tension on the shoulder to get them to tap out. So you're putting yourself in a dangerous Kimura position that's not good for the shoulder. However, with the elbows up, the shoulder focus, you're gonna build a lot of mass in that shoulder and those traps. And those are muscles guys want. However, when doing it with the bar, there can be a ton of problems. So, let's show you how not to do it first. So this is not what you wanna be using, a straight bar right here, this is really bad. This is a little bit easier here with the easy bar curl, but this is still not what we want. This is still a dangerous position. My arms are locked in, they're not free moving. Let's try another one. Now this is good, this is safe, this is free moving. My, I got a little bit more move and a little bit more play in the shoulder. It's gonna be a little bit more protected. However, here I just feel like I'm not getting greatest contraction and the free movement kind of gets me out of that position where I'm really gonna be optimally working the lateral head of my shoulder. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite variation of this exercise and how you should be doing it. And that's with the cables. So here guys, I get constant tension. My arms are locked in, but in a safer way, because the cable is semi-free moving. It's not like a bar where you're kind of in an awkward position. It allows you to move inward, outward. You have constant tension on the muscle, so you can go a lot lighter and get a lot more of the benefit. You're gonna get that downward pull of the cable at all times. So I like to go a little bit lighter and a little bit more high rep to be safe. So we're still in that weird position, but you can see I can pull up and it just feels a lot safer pulling up into myself the cables as opposed to the free moving easy bar curl or whatever you'll get a lot more like kind of hip movement and just people jerking up in weird ways with the cable focus on that slow constant tension so I recommend doing this maybe respectively heavy but not too heavy a little bit lighter and a little bit higher rep the reason for this and the reason this exercise is really controversial once again is that awkward position however to really get the most out of the exercise you need that elbow up to perform a correct rep, I'm gonna grab the cable, lean back, straighten out, lift up from the elbow, not from your shoulder, not from your hand, and you guys can see I'm lifting that up nice and high, and here I'm getting a huge contraction on my lateral head of the shoulder alongside my trap. So straight up like this, and that's all it is, guys. And it's a lot safer, I've never had myself hurt or any of my clients in person or online get hurt doing this variation. It's incredible, let's show you three common mistakes you want to avoid to be even more safe. So guys, common mistake number one I see far too many people just taking the tension off the actual shoulder. They'll pull it up here and they'll just fully extend and lock out their arms. Their shoulders aren't engaged. They move it a bit to the triceps and they're not really doing as much as they could be by keeping constant tension up here, going down, slight bend, and then all the way up. So avoid this mistake and you guys will see more gains. And common mistake number two guys is just pulling up too high. A lot of people recruit their traps too much. They'll go all the way up. <laughs> Not hit their chin, but almost to that point. I'm exaggerating a bit. And for someone like myself who has had a bit of shoulder pain in the past, this is just very uncomfortable, especially as I increase the weight. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. This is something you want to avoid doing to make sure your shoulders are safe and you're not recruiting your traps as much. Don't do this. All right guys, so mistake number three and something I wanna clear up before all the keyboard warriors start going saying this is the worst thing in the world. If you do this and feel any pain, there's a big difference between pain and discomfort. Discomfort is okay, because usually that's you just seeing results, growing, a little bit of soreness. However, if you feel pain or anything sharp, stop doing this, this exercise isn't for you. If you have really bad shoulders, stay away in general. It's definitely not the safest, but it is a shoulder mass builder. This will blow up your shoulders, your traps, will really help you guys look kind of just thicker and wider and bigger. This is a great exercise, but do it very carefully and sparingly. So when you do this, guys, once again, mistake number three is getting lazy. So the entire point of this exercise is not a frontal raise or anything. You're getting this weird kind of lockout by lifting through the elbows. If you get lazy and try doing this, I don't know what you're doing, you're not working it. Instead, if you go, watch the difference here. 
Boom. Oh, I just feel a crazy contraction right there in the lateral head and the trap. Boom. That's a solid rep. This is nothing. I don't know what I'm doing here. Even this is nothing. It's gotta be elbows up and squeeze that lateral head. Once again, do it sparingly. Work this into your program as you guys see fit. It is a risk, but it's great. The cable is a million times better. You're eliminating the swinging and the awkwardness of being stuck to the bar. At least you get some movement and some play with the cables alongside the constant downward tension, which will continue to rip those muscle fibers up. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. My final point, guys, you guys wanna try out all the variations, try out all these tips, incorporate it into your routine. If you don't like the cables, maybe you wanna use the dumbbells, but keep in mind, you won't be getting as good of a contraction with the dumbbells. We are online coaches, personal trainers. If any of you guys need help achieving your goals, you want a workout plan from us, you guys want form checks, anything like that, make sure to click the link in the description below, colossusfitness.com. We have a bunch of videos helping you guys fix your form, so make sure to get that ebook for free, completely free. We want to help you guys grow, so make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace out.